Hey going guys, Nathan Affe here with Tyrone Roberts. We're having a chat to Nico Hines in the New South Wales Blues team. How are you, lad? Good, thanks. How are you? Yeah, good, bros. Um, who's your mob? Where are you from? Uh, I was originally, I thought I was a Bundjalung mob, but uh, it turns Maybe. out my, my mum's dad was born in Griffith, the Radjuri mob. I found, out, found that out in the, the Mavericks knockout in 2019, so um, yeah, pretty stoked with that. Yeah, nice. Well, we're Bundjalung. Two I'm nil. Bundjalung, we're two nil. Bundjalung, man. <laughs> uh, grew up in Ballina, but moved to Newey. I was in Newey f since I was fourteen. Yeah, nice. but um, yeah. How's um, how's camp going anyway, lad? Yeah, really good. It's a really good experience. You know, it was pretty unexpected that um, I got the call up, so I was, I was pretty excited and, and then very proud to get that call. And um, yeah, it's been really cool hanging out with our old Jackie boy over here and uh, the trail and the fox. So I'm you know, really enjoying it. They're showing you the ropes, eh? Yeah, they are. <laughs> <laughs> how's, um, how's, the, how's the feeling in camp? Obviously, 2-0 uh, must be um, pretty relaxing times in camp. Yeah, it is and it isn't. You know, they, the boys are really keen to, to go to um, get the three games. You know, So Freddie's making sure that we're working extremely hard to make sure we'll do that. Uh, so there's a lot of relaxing times, but also when it's when it's business, it's business. Yeah, I know you're named in the in the squad, brother. But um, you know, it came out I think, a couple months ago about your journey. You know, growing up and all the sacrifices you had to make, and just how proud you know, of yourself of your journey. But you know, how proud you are and the, the sacrifices you had to make to get where you are. Yeah, for sure, it was uh, it was a different journey, and it was, I went I went a long way around to get to where I am. But uh, you know, all, all those. Um, Things in my past have made me who I am, and I don't think I would have got to where I am if it, if it wasn't for those that sort of journey. So uh, it's made me who I am. So I'm, I'm extremely proud of that, and um, happy to share it and, and help people along the way as well. I guess you know when you as blackfellas, you know it's important for us to be able to tell that story and talk about our experience because there's always someone who's going through the same probably situation and experience, and it always helps them to open up and be a part of you know, um, that journey of what we, how we're trying to help each other. Yeah, exactly right. And everyone has their own um, journey to share and, and story to tell. And I think it's really important that uh, everyone gets a chance to do that. And, and whether it's sport or uh, whatever this choice they make in life, um, everyone gets to, it has their right to share their journey and, and fulfill their dreams as well. So um, yeah, it's good. Yeah. As being part of Daily Choices, you know, we're always talking about leadership and um, I just want to ask uh, in, in your journey who you looked up to and who, like mentored you through your journey as well as being part of a leader yeah that's a good question um i think the obvious ones are your family um you know my dad and, and my mom uh, my mom's been through a bit of a, a rough journey but you know, who she is is someone i'm proud of and she's shown me the way and um someone that comes to mind is definitely my brother um he's been through a, a similar journey to me but he's He's worked really hard to get to where he is, and now he's got two beautiful kids and a wife in his own home. So um, that, that's something that I, I've strived to to want to be like and, and be a person like him. And um, you know, and there's a lot of coaches and, and school teachers in in, my, in the footy world that uh, have helped me along the way. And um, you know, in the Melbourne Storm have definitely been a club and a culture that I love being a part of, and, and they've definitely uh, pointed me in the right direction. And, and I'm sitting here in the Blues camp is from the Melbourne Storm, so I'm really appreciative of them. I guess when we talk about role models and people we look up to, I think within an Indigenous community, it's usually like our cousins or older brothers and sisters, you know, who are playing footy or, you know, just role models who are close to us that have such an impact on our life, you know, and, and probably the same as yourself, T. Yeah, family, family played a big part of you know, my journey. I know that I've been sent away when you're 14, you know, it's a tough time, but um, they knew what was right for me. And um, I had the, the journey the same. I moved away with 14. Mm -hmm. you know, sacrificed a lot, family, friends, um, but yeah, at the end of the day, you, know, you do it for them and do it for yourself. And I guess for yourself, Nico, I mean, being able to play at the top level of the NRL, um, I guess you understand your role as a as a role model as well, you know, to young Indigenous kids. Yeah, definitely, and it's really important to, um, you know, be that role model for the Indigenous kids. And, you know, you look at Jonathan first, and that's who I looked up to when I was a kid as an Indigenous leader, and what he's done for the, the people of uh, not only North Queensland, but Australia is, is unbelievable. And, you know, if I can be someone who can um, point uh, the right direction for the young 
Aboriginal kids. Um, I'm really, really proud of that, and it's something I'm looking to do for sure. I guess he's a, he's, I mean, JT is a perfect example, just on and off the field, you know, when we talk about leadership and being a role model, you know, it's, it's hard to go past someone like him, like him, like uh, JT. Um, we're talking all stuff, Deadly Blues as well, Deadly Choices. This is our third year with the Deadly Blues campaign. Um, I think you, you can see T wearing the shirts. Um, community members from all around New South Wales that can go in, uh, complete their 715 health check, get the shirts. Um, it's a great partnership, isn't it, with the New South Wales Rugby League and, and Deadly Choices to be able to create this amazing initiative of a health check shirt um, for our community members to go in, get their health check, and you know just make sure everything's um, going right and, and they're healthy. Yeah, it's huge. I think it's such a great initiative. Right? Everybody needs to go and, and have that checkup or whatever checkup that is. That it's really important that your health's uh, number one priority in, in your life. And you, you just never know what can happen in your life with, with, the, with the do with your health. And you just don't want to get to a certain age where you can't really help it if there's something going wrong. And just talking to Jackie Whiten about it just before. And uh, I didn't, he filled me in on, on it a fair bit. And uh, it's, it's huge. And I hope that the partnership continues for a long time to come. And um, yeah, those, those, those shirts you're wearing there, T, are pretty sexy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he makes them look good, eh? <laughs> no, I, but also, I think, like, being able to use, like, role models like yourself and Jack and uh, a few of the boys. I mean, we had Willie Mason come to a few of our events and Gavin Badger. You know, they, they're such, um, you know, role models to our community. And they, they talk about the importance of living a healthy life. And, you know, we talk about leadership. We talk about the importance of staying healthy. What about yourself? You know, away from footy, how do you stay um, healthy away from footy? Make what's your deadly choice away from footy? Um, probably just trying to keep my diet um, healthy. You know, I had a, a few years ago, I probably wasn't having such a great diet, but now that I'm playing regular NRL and I think that's probably really important, um, getting the, your off field right and, and your diet and, and your choices, um, you know, not drinking too much and going out and partying, but, um, yeah, no, it's, it's really important. I don't think I probably would be here today if it wasn't for some of those smart choices off the field. So, um, you know, yeah, just, just try and have a healthy, healthy diet. Otherwise, I'd turn into a fat, fat leap. <laughs> Talking about um, your health and your diet, but uh, what about your mental, your mental health as well through COVID and making sure that you're on top of that as well? Yeah, that's, that's really important. Yeah, I think that's uh, I'm really glad you mentioned those. Everyone will be going through some some tough times at the moment with COVID and, and it, different people go through different things, um, with losing their jobs or not getting paid. Um, you know, so I think it's really important that we look after each other and always checking in with um, your brother, your cousin, your best mate, um, your family, just even just someone who you don't really know, just making sure, you know, you just say, ask how they're going because it's really important, especially in these times. Uh, mental health is, is huge in this day and age. And uh, if we're all getting on top of it and helping each other out, then it's going to go a long way to making sure mental health is a massive thing for us at the moment. Too easy, brother. Nico, thanks for joining us, lad. Um, good luck Wednesday night. Um, I'm from Bundjalung, so I can say good luck, can't I? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, good luck, brother, and um, oi, um, good luck for the rest of the season. Um, thanks very much for joining us today. Um, say hello to everyone uh, in camp for us, and we'll catch you up again soon, eh? So, well. Thank you. I'll give a quick shout out to, um, well, I like to represent the dark and young people of the Central Coast where I grew up. And uh, in your mind, there's a little Aboriginal community called Mingaletta who's helped me and uh, my mum and brother at it a hell of a lot. So I like to represent those uh, people as well and uh, have my respects to those guys. So thanks again and thanks for the chat. Too easy, Cheers, brother. Thank you. Uh, knockout team, brother. What are you playing for? <laughs> uh, we, I went to the grand final with Griffith a couple of years ago, so I don't know if I can um, knock them guys back again and had a really good time with those guys. So we'll see I seen you at Tribal League last year. Um, Oh, yeah, yeah, true. Yeah, I just want to know if you were keen to play. Who would you play for? Uh, I was going to play with um, the South Coast Connections and the Griffith team combined, but um, the Storm said, no, you're not playing. <laughs> All right. Too easy, brother. Yeah. Thank you. All right. See you, guys. See you, guys. Yeah.